Okay, so today we are looking at the venerable video editor known as Averimux. Now, Averimux is, uh, is quite a well-known application in a lot of uh, circles. Um, it is available for Mac, Windows, and Linux, so it is quite a widespread application. But the real purpose of Averimux is to be a uh, bare-bones video editor, but at the same time a transcoder. So it has a lot of configuring options that you can use to scrub through your video or apply certain filters or effects, add subtitles, or just transcode the video into a different codec. Uh, so you'll notice here on the left hand side we have video and these are all the video codecs that you can use. Also you can just uh, uh, opt to copy the video codec and just change the audio codec, which I have done several times uh, throughout, the, uh, throughout the screencasting. Um, sometimes the audio will mess up during a screen recording and, uh, it, and it won't open properly in Caden Live. You run it through this and change the audio to a different uh, format and it'll uh, sail through it very quickly and it gets the job done very, very nicely. Now, of course, here you've got your overall codec wrapper or the, uh, the output format that you want to put it in. And also it does have some uh, automatic, um, it does have some automatic transcode settings up here for such things as Apple devices, optical discs, Microsoft Zoom, and the Sony PlayStation Portable. Honestly, there's a lot of advanced features in Avon eBooks that I'm not going to get a chance to look at. But essentially, you've got lots and lots of different options here under decoder, most of which I wouldn't actually know what they do. For instance, once you transcode the video, you can ask it to do different things like remove the interlacing, you can uh, change the color, uh, you can uh, remove noise, and uh, you can increase sharpness, add subtitles, and, uh, and also you can add different plugins here as well if you want more options. There's, there's really nothing that this application can't do as far as uh, manipulating video into, into the correct format. Um, this, uh, this particular software is fantastic if you've got a uh, recorded TV or something like that and you want to edit out, all of the, uh, edit out all of the ads. It's very easy to do. You simply put your A marker and then your B marker where you want it. And, uh, and then you press encode and it'll automatically get rid of a certain, uh, it will automatically get rid of all the other stuff that you haven't marked. And then once you're finished, uh, you can open it up. Uh, you can open up the next part or you can open up the original and, uh, and then you can append those, those videos together. And then that will uh, connect the two video clips that you've just edited. So you can, uh, so you can keep doing that all the way through a TV episode or a recorded movie or something like that. Um, so it's very, very versatile and it has a lot of different options that you can do here. You can also add a second track of audio, which is also pretty helpful for those who just want a bit of background music during their video. It's not a non-linear video editor like Caden Live or PitaV or iMovie or anything like that. It is a simple uh, video manipulation tool. It only does basic changes to the video and you can put it through post-processing filters or just repair some corrupt footage that, uh, that has messed up your video. Uh, you can swap out audio. Uh, there's also a calculator here where you can uh, find out how big approximately a file will be once you've, uh, once you've finished uh, creating it. And, uh, and honestly, these are all very, very helpful teachers. It's a rock solid application. Uh, it's been in development for a long, long time. And, uh, and it's good to see that it's still just as awesome as it was when it first began. There is not a better video manipulation tool out there. It, uh, it's, it's very much comparable to, uh, to a basic photo editor of sorts. It's not like a, a full-on video editor, but it does provide you with some very nice video manipulation tools that are very hard to find elsewhere, especially when it's free. So definitely give Avid Emix a go if you do have some random video clips that need trimming or they need uh, post-processing or improving because there are a lot of options here and I doubt you'll be let down. Download links are below in the description box and I'll also put some links to some tutorial videos if you want some more detailed information on how to run this application and just what it is capable of.